Hey now, Mike Shaman here, and today we're going to be using the Divi theme and Divi theme builder to make this landing page. This is a nice little landing page here. It has a picture in the background and then has a nice gradient right here. And then of course the email opt-in with some text above it, which is all changeable. And I want to let you know that if you did want this template, I'm actually giving this away to the members of the landing page extravaganza inside of Divi Planet. As you can see, I have all my YouTube downloads right here in the inside of Divi Planet, and this page will be included on those downloads. So if you want to do that, just go ahead and check out wplanet.com and you can find all the details there. But let's get into this tutorial video right now. Hey now, Mike Shaman here. And we're designing a simple landing page with the Divi theme and the Divi theme builder. This is just going to be a simple landing page with the Divi theme. So what we want to do is I have a blank page template right now and I'm using the Divi theme builder. Okay, I've got a row right here and I'm just going to add a text module to it to start off. So let's go ahead and add some text. All right, you can go ahead and just add it right there. I'm going to go check. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this and I'm just going to make this a title text. So I'm just going back into the top one. Go to design and text and let's just make this ultra bold. I'm going to increase the text size some. I'm going to increase the letter spacing. Oh, not the letter spacing, excuse me, the line height. All right, and then let's go to just take it down. All right, now let's go cut back on some of this text. I go to check. Now let's go to this text right here and go to design and text. We're going to increase the size to 18. Let's just go to 21. And again, the line height, adjust the line height there. We'll go to design and spacing and zero out the top and bottom margins. Check. And go back to this text, go to design and spacing and go ahead, zero out the top and bottom margins. Right, and then on the bottom here, let's go to let's just add a pixels. All right, check. All right, now we have that little spot. We'll go ahead and go right here and go to opt in and add the email opt in. All right, so let's go to text and background and we'll trash that background there. And we'll add just let's just add a little light color there for. So we can see what we're doing here for a minute, but we'll go to text right here. And let's go ahead and make this, um, actually we're going to delete this. That's what we should do. Delete this and delete this. All right, and then you can change the, the text on the subscribe button there. And if we go to design and layout, put the form on top, body on the bottom. Okay, and now let's go to Spacing and zero out the top and bottom margining pattern. And right, then you, you can just do your own right here. Once we get it secured and on the bottom, I'm not going to do any padding. So I'm going to do zero. All right, and now we can go to the fields right here. Oops. Saved it. It exited out and saved that right there. But go to design and do a paintbrush. And we'll go to the border here for the fields. Okay, let's do one, and I'll pick a lighter gray color. Okay, now let's go to the button. The button's going to be orange, I believe. I'm going to do orange. For the text, it's going to be white, though. And it's going to do that. And 28 looks good on that. Let's go here. Border, no border. All right. And then though the background color is going to be orange, the border radius, let's go ahead and make this a round. Okay, and then letter spacing is fine. The weight of the button, we're just going to do a bold. No icon. Okay, we'll go ahead and get the shadow on the letters there just to make it stand out a little more. Okay, and we'll go ahead and make this a little bit darker. All right, now let's go to the box shadow. We're going to go with this one. And let's go ahead and just bring that down a little bit. And just bring the sh shadow color up just a tad. And go back to the blur and just bring it down. All right, outer shadow. Check that. Now let's go ahead and go back here and go to the background. So text and background. Let's go ahead and trash this. Now we have a nice little form, just like that. And you want to make sure whenever you hook this up that you go to the email account, you want to hook up your email account right here, whatever email account you, you have, 
and select your list that you want it to go to. And then on the success action, you wanna make sure you redirect to a custom URL, or I mean, if you wanted to display a message, you can, but usually you wanna redirect to a custom URL and you wanna put that URL right here, whether it's part of your website or a different uh, website, you wanna make sure you redirect to a URL. All right, so that is that. Now what we can do, go to this uh, column settings here and just we'll do this setting. And so it gets a little bit smaller and actually we'll go to the design and sizing and we will do a max width of 100%. You can set this also to 1920, I like 1920, but you can see it moves it right over there. Okay, and on the width, you can choose what you would like, but I'll, I'll go 90%, keep it over here in this section. Go check. All right, so once you get here, then you can go ahead and let's go ahead and add our image in here. So design and background. We'll add a background up, image. And so maybe this image right here. It's gonna be, make sure you're on full size. Just go to upload image, go to check. All right, and I'll go to the settings here and I'll go to design and sizing. And the height's on auto, so it's gonna be whatever, uh, you know, it's, it's gonna be according to this right here. But what we can do is you could put it up to whatever you want. If it's just gonna be a small landing page, okay, 1200 pixels. And then you wanna check it on, on mobile phone for the minimum height there. All right, so go check. And now if you go to a mobile phone, you just wanna make sure that everything's in the mobile phone right there, okay? So now what we're gonna do is go to back to the settings here and go to background and we'll go to gradient. Okay, so if you click this one right here, it's called gradient. Let's go to add background gradient. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a darker color right here. And then over here, I'm just gonna do a, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do black as well, but I'm gonna take the opacity down a lot. Okay, and what you wanna do in order to get that to, to, to be seen is you wanna go over to the image and you wanna go to background image blend and overlay. And there you go. But as you can see, that's the gradient right there. Now we wanna go to gradient and gradient direction. And you can change the gradient direction here. I want it to be 90 degrees. Okay, and you can change the start position. Okay. So, and then you can change the end position as well. Where do you want it to end? I like to put, keep the end position because if you change it, it's going to be a flat gradient right here. Okay. So you could do that if you wanted to, but there's other ways to do that. So I just like to keep it extended in the start right there just go to right here and just bring this down a little bit more actually just go to right here and bring this color there you go check go here just go to this text and go to design and text make that white and we'll put just a slight little shadow behind it there check for that let's go right here go to design and spacing let's not add a, a little bit of spacing between this go to check I actually go to text and white color and actually I'm gonna add a little bit of a uh, line height here all right go to check and right here as well let's add just a little bit of line height design and text let's go and add just a little bit of line height Okay, and then on the bottom the spacing, yeah, let's go to zero because we got other spacing on that top one. There we go, check. All right, now let's go ahead and bring it down just a little bit right here. What we can do is we can go to the setting, go to design and spacing. And on the top, we can just put 150 pixels. Okay, we can even do 130, it might look a little bit better. All right, check right there. And actually, maybe I want this to be centered, I think. Design, text, center, check. Design, text, center. And we can add, or we can take away just a little bit of text here. Yeah. There we go. That looks like a nice little landing page right there. And actually, let's just go settings and to this button right here. And take this orange, just 
down just a tad bit. All right, and let's go to that uh, text size. Just increase it. Uh, just a little bit. There we go. All right, that looks like a nice form right there with the Divi landing page, or that looks like a nice landing page with the Divi form and the Divi theme builder. Remember to set your success actions, and then you wanna check it on mobile. All right, so on mobile, what we could do is just pull it up a little bit here. All right, so let's go to settings, design and spacing, and on the phone, we're just gonna put this at, let's just go 50. Okay, we gotta check. All right, and there is your landing page. All right, it comes out nice on mobile and on tablet. And if you want to take this text down just a tad bit, design and text. Let's see, text on the size on the phone. We're just gonna go ahead and go to 28, check. Let's just take this text size down, design and text. On the phone, we'll go to 18 and go to check. All right. There she is. Nice little form you have there with the Divi theme and the Divi theme builder. All right, and that's how you make a landing page with a Divi theme. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. And if you did, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe button. And if you did want to check out this landing page template, go to DiviPlanet.com and get five free landing pages. And I'll see y'all on the next video.